And here we go with the NCW Women's Championship match. Casey Wynn is finally getting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity after three months of being here in NCW. Wait, when did she come in? Did she come in at Overload? No, she didn't. Did she? I know she started when... Yeah, I don't... I think it was, um... I think it was NCW Overload because that's when the... Elimination Chamber was where she almost pinned Akira Ray, but the referee wasn't watching. I reckon it would have been a hell of a lot better if I just made a fight in the shorts. And took off the jacket. But... Yeah, she, I think she was the first one eliminated. And then Crystal got an opportunity at Eclipse and failed to win. And then that meltdown was the Fatal 4-Way Women's Championship match where Christina became the Women's Champion. And then two, three weeks later successfully defended it against Akira Ray in a one-on-one -on -one match. But now these two facing off again. This time with the top prize in the women's division on the line, the NCW Women's Championship. A, a proud, arrogant champion versus a perky challenger. It might be small and pink, but it's still got a lot of meaning to that championship. Well, it will. But here we go. Not good for now. Oh, and straight off the bat with that Urinagi slam. Easy winners is no weak fighter. And she goes, snaps the arm over her shoulder, shot to the face. Now just whips the head back. Christina has become so confident since winning that championship. I'll say it a thousand times and I'll say it a thousand more. I swear she was going to be a jobber here in NCW. But she proved me wrong. She became women's champion the second ever women's champion when you become the second that makes you better than the first ooh straight kick to the gut And a springboard elbow to deliver the message of I am not backing down. Christina taking advantage of the no holds barred rules, going for a steel chair. But no, Christina blocks it. I mean, not Christina, or well, Christina blocked it with her face. But Casey Wynn is able to stop the chair from being used on her. These two girls fighting it, gonna fight tooth and nail for that women's championship. We saw what Aaron Crimson and Kenny Omega would go through for that title. We saw what Dizzle B would do for a number one contender shot at the world title. 
eliminating five other competitors in that rumble. Oh, straight knee strikes. Look how shiny those bricks are. Shiny things make me distracted. But those three big knees across the side of the head of Christina. Casey Winner's now in complete control here. Oh, snaps the foot on those steel bricks. Because every steel makes everything more painful. Oh, straight kick to the side of the head. Looked like a rocket kick. She might have adopted that from Buddy Andrews. And now just stomping her chest. Casey Wynn is looking to throw her back in, but Christina is throwing her in first. Challenger meets champion. Here she goes. Oh! Looks like a Death Valley driver. Now Casey Wynn is looking, to, looking for that winter kick. Oh! Strikes in the face. A shot to the gut. And there it is, the winter power bomb. One, two, three, and just like that, it is all over. We have a new NCW women's champion. Straight off that pop-up power bomb, that winter's power bomb. That's one of so many matches in the future and the past, I mean. And just like that, three seconds later, we have a brand new NCW Women's Champion. And Casey Winners, she cannot believe it. The fans supporting her. However, you know, eating in the back of her mind, she did not defeat Akira Ray for that championship. That was her goal, to get that one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the women's title against Akira Ray. But Akira Ray losing it before she got that opportunity. But now, Katie Wynn is standing on top of the female roster as your women's champion.